What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So today we're going to talk about using Curveloft and Profile Builder to quickly create curtain wall mullions in SketchUp. So today's video is brought to you by Profile Builder. Profile Builder is the great extension for creating smart profiles in SketchUp. So I'm a big fan of this extension. It has a ton of different functions and different things that you can do. Um, in addition, I am an affiliate for Profile Builder. So if you do purchase through the link down below, I do receive a small commission. So if that's something you're interested in, that's a great way to support the show. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so there's a few different ways you could do something like this, but I've always been fascinated with the ability of Curvaloft to create skins and what you can do with those skins within SketchUp. And so in this case, what we're going to do is I've kind of made a very simple building here. It's got kind of some metal panel material on the back. But then uh, what we want to do is we want to create a skin across this face. And, uh, you know, the easiest way to do that would have been for me to just kind of draw it in like this, just manually. And you can see how I've drawn these edges in as basically three-sided arcs. And I could come in here and I could draw all of this in that way and then I could copy paste my edges in um, in order to create a path that I could extrude mullions along. And that would be fine, but in this case we want to do something a little bit different because this is going to be faster and it gives us more options. And so what we're going to do in this case is we're going to use Curveloft's Skin Contours tool. And what Skin Contours is going to do is it's going to give us the ability to create a skin along a frame. So if I was to come in here and select all of these edges just like this and then click on this button for skin contours you can see what this would do is this would come in and this would create a face and you can see where the hidden geometry is going to be it's in yellow here and so basically what this would do is this would come in here and this would create a face here 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 and here and so that's fine that's that's great for generating the actual face itself but in this case what we want is we actually want to generate lines that we can extrude curtain wall mullions along um, and the mullions are basically the aluminum parts that run along the edge here. And so the way that we're going to do that is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click and I'm going to hide the face I just created. And in this case what we need is we actually need some lines running across here as well. Because the way mullions would work is they would run up and down, then they would also run across. And so what you can do is you can actually take one of these lines or these edges and you can right click on it and you can divide it. And so if you divide it, like let's say for example that I wanted there to be, um, let's, go, let's go with uh, five segments in here. So basically now we could do the same thing where we select our frame, but we've divided this edge. Well now Curveloft is gonna see that edge as a bunch of different line segment, segments and it's gonna create different geometry. So let's go ahead and select all of this and then select the skin contours option. Well, you can see what this did this time is this actually created lines along each one of those points where this edge was divided. And so because of that, I could use these lines that are created in order to extrude objects along. And so what we want to do in this case, because we've already created our skin and we've hidden it, is we actually want to select the option for generate the junction edges vertical and junction or intermediate edges horizontal. So you can see what this will do is this will actually create those edges without actually creating a skin, which is great because what we want to do is we want to use this basically as a path that we can extrude along. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and click out here and that creates all of your edges. And so if I was to move this out to the side, just so you could see it, we basically now have a framework that we can extrude along. So I'm gonna put that back in place, and now we can go inside of this, and we can use Profile Builder to extrude um, a mullion piece. And in this case, I'm just using a two by eight mullion piece. Um, so we may have to adjust the materials and everything else, but one of the great things about Profile Builder is you can really extrude whatever kind of shape you want along all of these edges. And so in this case, what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and we're gonna select all of these. We're gonna have to come in and make some changes, but for now, we're just gonna select all. Then we're gonna click the button for Build Along Path. And so what that does is that actually generates all of our different mullions in here. And you're gonna notice that they're kinda laying wrong, so we're gonna have to change those, but you can see how this basically allows you to extrude that shape along all of these paths. And one of the things I really like about this is you could do this with any profile shape you wanted. So if you wanted to do like a steel tube along all of those, Profile Builder would let you do that. 
If you wanted to extrude more of like an I-beam or an L-beam, you could also do that along all of these edges. So you can see how that would create this L-beam along here. And you still have to kind of adjust them. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna select my two by eight. And one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and change the material that's gonna be in here that's created. And so you can see how the materials that are in your model show up in the material section. Well, I'm just going to add a metal material somewhere in my model. So in this case, I just applied an aluminum material right here. What that means is now, aluminum will show up on this list. So now I can come in here and we're gonna go ahead and extrude this along these again. And so the first thing you're gonna notice is these are all um, not running quite the way that we would want them to run. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a couple changes. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna select our horizontal mullions. So the ones that are running this way. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna change the rotation on those 90 degrees. And then with them selected, you can go down and you can click on this button right here for edit member properties. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to update the properties of that member that you have selected. So you can do a select all and click apply. And what that'll do is that'll turn all of these. So now all of these are running this way as opposed to being straight up and down like they were before. And so now we're gonna go in and we're gonna adjust these two mullions so that they face outward instead of the way they're facing right now. And so we're just gonna select these two, come in here and you're gonna click edit member properties and you're gonna click apply. Well, what that's gonna do is that's gonna flip those two so that they're facing outward. And then these two are kind of facing the way that we want them to. I'm actually gonna erase out the one on the ground. And then I'm actually gonna change these two manually. So um, just cause it's gonna be easier to change them manually. So depending on what you're doing, you might approach these a little bit differently. In this case, I kind of want these rotated around the outside edge. And so the other thing I want to do, and I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, so we can all kind of find out together, is I want to shift these back by about the width of my two by eight mullion. And so in this case, I'm going to measure this, and this is actually eight inches. So we're going to try just shifting these back eight inches. So all I did is I came in here and I adjusted the X offset, and then I'm gonna adjust these and I'm gonna apply them. And in this case, I'm gonna clear this and the only thing I wanna adjust is the X offset. And so you can see how the X offset actually wasn't what we wanted, that moved these sideways. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna try this again, but we're gonna try it with the Y offset. So we're gonna set our Y offset to eight inches. We'll go ahead and apply this. So you can see how this worked for most of these. So in the case of these two, because they're rotated 90 degrees, you actually need to take these and set them to negative eight inches to move them back here. Or you could just move them back manually. A lot of this really depends on how many mullions you're creating. So we're just gonna click apply and we're gonna adjust the X offset on this one. And there we go. So what we were able to do is we were able to come in here and we were able to create these mullions really quickly in our glass. And again, this is more of a simple example, but let's say that we were to come in here into a view, unhide all. So we'll unhide our face, and then within that face, we'll apply a glass material. And there you go. You've got a curtain wall shape with mullions inside your glass within your model. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Is this interesting to you? Have you created curtain wall mullions or anything else like this before? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you're interested in checking out Profile Builder, there is a link to that in the notes down below. I am an affiliate for Profile Builder. So that's another great way to support the show if you're interested in that is purchasing through that link. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.